Thank you everybody for being here. This is Maria from Logica MX and I am really happy to have with me today Itala Lofredo Taviano, who is going to talk to you about the Sao Paulo School of Advanced Science on Contemporary Logic, Rationality and Information that is devoted to Newton da Costa's 19th birthday. Itala is the academic director of the, of the school and I am really happy to introduce you to her. Itala, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. Uh, hi, nice, nice to meet you, to be here. Uh, thank you for the invitation, uh, Maria. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, uh, as you have just mentioned, we will have the São Paulo School of Advanced Science and Contemporary Logic, Rationality and Information, SPLUG, that will be promoted by the Center for Logic, Epistemology, and the History of Science of the University of Campinas. And it will be held in, uh, on February 6 to 17, 2023. The school, funded by the Sao Paulo Research Foundation, FAPESP, celebrates the 90th anniversary of Newton da Costa and beyond, so celebrating the 45 years of the Center for Logic. I said uh, that the school celebrates the 90th anniversary of Newton da Costa and beyond because the school had been proposed for uh, July 2020. But on account of the pandemic, we had to postpone the school. Uh, at that time, Newton was celebrating his 90th anniversary, but now he has just celebrated his uh, 93 uh, anniversary. And so uh, now we are celebrating the 90th year of Newton, years of Newton da Costa. Newton da Costa, uh, he was one of the founders of the Center for Logic. He taught at my university. He was my PhD advisor. And Newton da Costa is uh, considered one of the creators of consistent logic. And uh, he continues working. He continues very active. Probably he will come to the school personally for some days and people will have the possible opportunity to meet him personally. And we decided to organize this school and FAPES decided to, to uh, give his support, its support for the realization of this event. We decided to organize this school because Newton da Costa is a very important Brazilian thinker. And we think, we, we consider that he has created the well-known Brazilian school on consistency. And so the school will celebrate Newton da Costa and the Brazilian school of consistency. That's, that's great because uh, something that maybe we we would like to emphasize is that when Newton started researching for consistency, he didn't know, he did not only contribute to mathematics or to philosophy of logic or to logic in a specific, but he also did some work in epistemology, some work in philosophy of science, some work in the history of, of logic and so on. And so now the school is focusing on all these areas, right? So can you tell us a bit about the program? Which are the courses that are going to be um, taught during this, from the sixth to the seventh theme? And also, uh, who maybe who are going to be some of the lecturers uh, that we are going to have? Yes, yes. Okay, the school aims at providing an overview of the state of art methodology and research on contemporary logic featuring non-classical logics, rationality, and information. The program comprises eight courses and nine plenary talks, as well as oral presentations and poster sessions by the students. 
The oral presentations have been, have been called by us led talks, logic, entertainment, and design. And in this talk, the students will present their uh, research projects. But uh, among the 100 students, we will select for about 30 students for the lead talks. The other students will present posters concerning uh, their research uh, projects. Topics to be covered include history and philosophy of consistent logic, the Australian, Belgian, Brazilian, Israeli, and Polish schools on consistency, logic and reasoning, logic and information, logic and argumentation, methodological aspects on interpreting, translating, and combining logics, probability and artificial intelligence. Okay, these are the topics. Itala, who are some of the people that we, we are going to have having given this, these lectures? It sounds very interesting, but also very diverse. Uh, okay. Uh, we have uh, we have 17 invited invited researchers professors and one of the the aims is that among the invited people half will be brazilian researchers and half will be non brazilian researchers or foreign researchers concerning brazil the same thing among the students we we are able to select up to 100 students, but we will select because we have more than 200 inscriptions until now. Uh, 50 Brazilians from Brazil, 50 outside Brazil. The aim is to, to have an environment full of distinct students and uh, professors and uh, speakers. Um, we will have students according to the inscriptions from all around the world, from all America and from Europe, from Australia, Japan, China, from Africa too. And so I think, I believe that it will be a very interesting meeting because the students will uh, be together uh, during two weeks and they will be hosted. They will be at the, at the university. The school is aimed to post-graduate, post-graduate students, to graduate students. But we will also receive part of these students selected uh, among the inscriptions. We, we have decided to, to have some some possibility for undergraduate students and for postdoc. And these students will be fully funded. Uh, funding includes airfare, medical insurance, accommodation, and meals. Itala, I, I wonder whether these students can be from philosophy, from mathematics, from informatics, from computer science in general, uh, from working in history of logic or history of rationality, who is the target for this school? Yeah, this is very interesting. In general, these schools uh, are uh, aiming to receive specialized students, but we are logicians and logic professors. <laughs> All the areas of knowledge, I think in logic, logic nowadays, means the universality of knowledge. And so we have inscriptions and we are going to accept them uh, uh, from philosophy courses, mathematics, physics, engineering, uh, the philosophy, philosophy students. We have from very many areas or who, he who like uh, students who, who prefer logic, who prefer the philosophy of science, the philosophy of logic, and we have also students come from the history of philosophy with good projects. This, this sounds marvelous. Now, what is 
the application process what do i have to send <laughs> do i have to i have to send a letter um, explaining why i want to go i also have to send my transcripts a short cv no more than four pages um also i don't remember what else a, a form that you can you can check in the website which is going to yes. be linked in the yes. description of the video you have to fill a form and a letter of recommendation right yes a, and yes. a research project an abstract of what you are working in yes yes As a, a short abstract concerning your work your research project uh, i so, could share i could share here yes. the addresses Okay, is it here? It's okay. Okay, here we have yes. that we we have postponed the inscriptions uh, to November 14. We have some more 12 days. And uh, here for full information, you can go to this address. And for applications, you also have here the address. And I suggest you to, to go to the site of the school in order to, to, to see, to understand the, the schedule. Everything is there. That's great. So if I am a student and I have a question about applications or the process or the school in general, I send an email to splogic at unicamp.br, right? Yes, yes. So, yeah. or check the website, which is also going to be linked in the description. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, that's, that's so marvelous, Itala. Thank you very much for helping us to spread the word about this great school. Uh, I think a lot of communities are going to be uh, getting benefits from this. As I said, it seems interesting for philosophers, not only philosophers of logic, but also philosophers of science, historians of, of ideas around paraconsistency, uh, also for epistemologists of science, but as well for mathematicians, philosophers of mathematics, and uh, people from computer science. If you want to know more about the speakers, go to the website. If you want to listen to some of the speakers, you can check some of the videos that we have in this channel. We have a video by Joao Marcos about logics of formal inconsistency, but also one by Juliana Bueno Soler about the applicability of this type of logics in the philosophy of science. Um, we have uh, some videos about adaptive logics also in this in this channel. Thank you, Itala. Um, do you want to say anything else before we, we leave? Ah, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to, to, to tell about this school. And, oh. and uh, we look forward to seeing you here at Unicamp, in Cantinas.